So hey guys, what's up? This is Ezekiel, and welcome back to the next episode for the Battle Cats Evolution Series. Yeah, so in the last video, we talked about the Cat Tornado, and so today, we're gonna be moving on to a, you know, slightly demanded cat, like a couple of people wanted to see this cat, and I myself think that this cat is actually particularly pretty cool, just because there's a couple of memes for it as well. And so that cat, my friends, is going to be the Cat Toaster. So this video is gonna be kind of different because, um, I actually haven't gotten the true form for the cat toaster like just yet. I'm doing it just now. And so for the first time ever in any, you know, Battle Cats Evolutions video, you're actually going to see like the whole progress of what it's like to actually upgrade or evolve it, a cat to its true form. If it's not like the the basic cats because the basic cats when they go into true form It doesn't really count because like you do that through uh, different means, but whatever Let's just get in uh, right into the uh, thingy right here and sorry if I sound a little bit flustered It's always kind of like uh, nerve-wracking when it comes to these particular types of videos because it's like you only have one chance One chance to do this properly and if I have to or if I somehow mess up my commentary or something bad goes on I can't like actually redo the whole process. I mean I can keep the footage, but then I have to like re -comment over that it's just like ah so much stress but here we go the cat projector actually no sorry the cat toaster that's the next form um, so we're actually gonna upgrade him to level 30 because we need to do that to actually evolve him to the next form and then uh, let's just get right into the thingy I'll skip all the dialogue and whatnot or not the dialogue sorry like the cat info I'll read that in just a second but uh, oh boy the cataphone this guy right here I mean he's already been spoiled for me for like because uh, other people made videos on him as well so I already know what he looks like but he's uh, still pretty cool uh, I'll read this part at least true form evolution increases defense and attack power pretty cool also slows angels for an even longer period of time so that's actually uh, pretty good as well but uh, enough dilly down let's just uh, upgrade this guy to his uh, or not upgrade of all this guy to the next form oh baby <laughs> look at this guy it's like uh, yeah a cataphone like one of those super old things that like probably your parents or even grandparents own and like you put like the giant crazy black discs on them you, c you keep them spinning and then like the little needle um, it traces like the lines and then gets all these like frequencies which actually produces the sounds. It's like all this like science terminology and stuff that I'm sure like no one actually cares about. But uh, there we go. Finally got the true form of the cat of the uh, the cat toaster. So legitimately now let's actually begin the video right here. Let's just start from the uh, the first dude right here. Fed up with making toast every day, went on strike by firing bread at dad's face. Hmm. And the reference to dad, um, there's actually another cat unit in the game that. Uh, it's like, uh, what was it? It's like the, um, the Titan cat, and then he has like a bunch of baby cats with him, and then they refer him to the dad, so I'm not sure if it, this particular cat references that to the other cat, or if it just means like in a general sense, like dads in real life, not too sure. Might slow angelic enemies, area attack. So it's a pretty interesting combination right here. You know, there's not like, uh... Well, I wouldn't say angel cats are necessarily like super rare, like there are a lot of cases where you will be fighting angel cats like angel gories or super annoying angel hippos, like the sleffeners, like the weird horses that kind of look like pegasus but not really and they look a lot more freakier, stuff like that, then uh, you know this cat's actually able to do some uh, some work against them. So air attack damage, angels, and has the slow effect which is, uh, so basically this is a support cat if you didn't know, but it does have a bit of a firepower so it's not necessarily, it's like a, an offensive supportive cat if that makes sense uh, but the next evolution right here is the cat projector used to slow or no used to projecting used to project wait what used to projecting hollywood stars is that is that grammatically correct it sounds kind of weird in my head anyways now worries it might be obsolete thanks to digital video Ooh, right the age of digital videos how about youtube videos i think youtube videos takes priority over digital videos which takes priority over this guy right here so you know i mean if this guy would adapt then maybe he wouldn't be uh so flustered or in this case obsolete <laughs> might slow angelic enemies area attack damage pretty freaking cool but this is the one that I, i'm super excited for because i've never actually seen this dude in battle the cataphone a melancholy melody strip enemies of their will to fight before they are struck with sharp notes Ooh, i'm liking the musical references right here just because I myself am a musician, so I can appreciate some, uh, you know, clever dialogue such as this. Might slow angelic enemies area attack damage. All right, so that's pretty much that for the info. So let's just uh, get right into the composition that we're going to be going for today. So 
The composition that we're using is going to be focusing on mainly the slow effect, uh, aside from like the, you know, the sniper cat right here, just because I have like an extra free space. And whenever you have one extra slot that uh, you're unable to use for like any other cat bonuses or whatever, then you can always like throw in either the sniper cat or the, uh, What's his face? The Professor Cat Dude, because he gives you a slight boost in experience. Yeah, the Professor uh, Cat Jobs right here. But I'll be going for Vars and the uh, the Chef Cat, which gives you the Mega Boost, and then I'm going to go for the Lolly Cat, and then the whatever this guy's name is. I actually got him quite recently. Well, not recently. Like, I got him, you know, a while ago, but, like, it's kind of recent. Like, it's this year. Let's just say it's this year. Yeah, that's my definition of recent. Um, but we have this dude with the Lolly Cat, which gives a small boost as well. So, altogether, it should uh, further increase the slow duration of the... Um, the Cataphone, and so we're going to be doing two stages right here. We're going to be starting off with the Rays of Gold just to see like the initial power of the Cataphone alone, and then we're going to move on to the Insane version to see like um, if it's actually practically use uh, usable in like a legit scenario, because that's always like, I feel like that's what the whole point of these videos are, it's like to get the cats, to use them, to see how strong they are alone, and then to see if you can actually use them in like a, an actual scenario so that, you know, if you're trying to get to trying to get this cat specifically as well, then, um, you know, it's, it might be worth it. Okay, there's the first thing right there. Very, very speedy. Wow! Cataphone's kind of huge, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's kind of funny, too, because, um... See, I don't really know why they'd, like, uh, boost the defense of this, because if he's, like, attacking from behind, like, he... I don't really feel... I feel like he doesn't really need the extra defense. Like, maybe they could have focused it more on the attack power. Maybe even attack range, because I believe that his attack range actually stays the same here as well. Oops, did not mean to summon another one, but I uh, guess it's fine. But, uh, damn, I'm actually kind of impressed right here, because it's able to... I mean, this is the first stage, so it's not, like, super, super shocking, but at the same time, like, um... It's pretty impressive, and oops, there is a dog in the middle right there, but I want to get rid of him. So, wow, this this cat's pretty powerful, not gonna lie, like, um... I am seeing a couple of the slow effects here and there, but it's not, like, too much, because, like, usually the dogs or the enemies just, like, die instantly, so... It's kind of ridiculous. If I recall, I think his attack power is, like, 10,000 or something like that. I don't... well, hmm, that's what the wiki says anyways. Like, usually I check the wiki before we make these videos just to keep things accurate right here. But, um... Yeah, looks like these are going pretty good, so I think I can safely say that alone, if you're just using this cat for scenarios like this, then it's actually pretty powerful, it can pretty much do the job for you, you don't really need any other cats to support it, but if you're going for like a more serious battle, then um, you're probably going to need some extra cats, because like, you know, it's not like he's super crazy strong, like he's really just there for like the slow effect support. Which is 30% by the way, yes. That's <laughs> a good thing I took the wiki for that information. Um, but yeah, like, I'm pretty impressed too. Like, as we're about to wrap this up too, because we're almost about to win. Uh, just in terms of looks, like, again, he's like super freaking huge. Like, the, uh, the, uh, little tube thingy where the music actually comes out from. I already forget the name of that. Um, it's pretty freaking huge in comparison to his actual size. And then you have, like, the little turny, um, the, the crank handle, it kind of reminds me of, like, the Five Nights at Freddy's, um, 2 game, where it's like you're cranking up, like, the, to prevent the, the puppet from actually jumping and killing you. And also, that was a snap from Jillian. I didn't forget that, I was just kind of trying to get my thoughts down, because, like, you know, when there's a thousand things happening, it's really difficult to actually commentate over that. But, uh, yeah, in terms of the looks, it just looks, uh, pretty cool, so not only is it, pr like, decently strong, it also looks pretty cool, it has like a couple of references, or at least I'm making up the references, like I'm, it's not a, supposed to be a reference to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, it just reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Right, so we can safely say that the cat's, you know, pretty good, but how good is it in like an actual scenario? So, what we're gonna have to do here is that we're probably going to need to get two more cats for this particular job, and I'm thinking it should be probably, hmm... Um, no, 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 the cameraman cat, that's for another video, by the way, as well, but uh, it's not for Angel, that's for floating enemies. Hmm, it's always kind of difficult to also like, just make these compositions right here, let's see, so... Um, probably want to bring the delivery cat for the massive damage, even though it'll probably die a lot, that's fine. Actually, I can't really think of these guys, hold on. <laughs> I mean, I I've played this game a lot, but, like, I can't, like, just memorize these things off the top of my head right here. Uh, another good cat would probably be, probably be, mm -hmm. um, let's see, um, to be totally honest, I think the Princess Julia cat, because she has the, I believe it's the freeze ability, yeah, so the freeze with the slow, if I can get that combo down, then it, sh it might be effective, in theory, but we're gonna have to actually see this, so, let's just go to the insane version of Razor Gold and see if the, uh, 
<sighs> the cataphone still performs as it uh, originally did the first time. So, let's see, right? Get the slow effects. Well, I can probably skip that because you don't need to show that a second time. So, they're sending out the first dude right here. Probably gonna want to start with, um, hmm. Juliet, the delivery cut, or like the two together. I think I'll use the two together for the first part right here. And I'll only send the delivery cats like when we're actually uh, close to the enemy, so they're just not like running towards and like gonna like um, provoke it anyways. Okay, so we got the slow, or no, we got the freeze effect right there. Not seeing any slows at the moment, which is kind of, uh, eh, you know, it's questionable, but hey, it's not too, too bad. But, uh, okay, all right, not too bad. <laughs> I like how there's there's much more freezing going on than there is slowing, so, you know, it kind of shows the power of, like, the Juliet cat right here. Oh, wait, no, there is the slow. Oh, the slow is going down as well. It's just that the um, the freeze effect's going over the slow as well. Right, right, right. So it's not like, I'm not going crazy here. May as well start, like, sending more of these guys. Wow, this is this is a serious battle right here. We're not, like, uh, assessing, like, the abilities of the, the cat anymore. We're actually trying to see if he's gonna in, like, a battle scenario right here. Alright, so the freeze goes down, the slow should prevent them from... Yeah, so like, once they're out of the freeze, then the slow effect should take effect so that they actually take a while to have to get back to you, so... Yeah, slow freeze combo is pretty good. Now I'm gonna start something the delivery cuts just to like, um... You know, because they, they're they they're like the, the main damages right here, they do the massive damage onto the, uh, the angel units, but... Ooh, the Sluffiner is pretty powerful, not gonna lie, and that uh, angel, <laughs> the angel dog's gonna kind of wreck my thing right there. It always does that. It's like, it's just annoying when that happens, you know? Okay, so we're pretty close right here. Um, I could send out, like, the, the Dark Emperor right here, but um, I think we might be okay? Hmm. Okay, and I take back what I said, like, the defense thing's actually kind of helpful in this case. Oops. Okay, there is uh, my other bud right here talking to me, so... This is the thing, it's like when I'm making these videos, it's like everyone wants to start texting me all of a sudden. It's just like, I mean, I don't mind when Lux does it because, you know, she's amazing and all, but uh, when other people do it, it's just kind of like, ah, can you please not text me at this at this point in time? Because then I'm always like deciding whether or not I should actually like uh, edit it out or like whatever. Okay, so they're kind of getting close right here, which is not, uh, not a good thing, but... We're not doing bad here. Why don't I? Why don't I actually use this guy right here? <laughs> He's good for like uh, the knockback effect. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Okay. I'll actually summon like the dark Emperor right here for a little bit of support. It looks like we might need it. Okay. Ooh, this might be kind of close. Right, right, right. I took this. I, I had way too much confidence in the in the cap right here. I didn't realize that they're actually they push us back this far. Okay, let's try to bring this back right here. Right, right, right. So now I'm gonna have to play like uh, serious mode. Uh, let's go for this guy for that area attack damage. Hopefully, the cores are like really irritating to deal with. And now they're attacking the base. Not good. Just start spamming the cats right here. The freeze effect goes down. We need to. If we can knock back the sluffiner, we could be fine. But uh, potentially, we might not be able to do that. Okay. All right. Come on, Vars. You know it's serious when you gotta send out the Vars. Oh God. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh goodness. Ah, right, right. Okay. All right. So even though the cataphone is a pretty like, it's a good support. Um. It's a strong support unit that you can use to slow down an angelic units, but uh, you can't get too cocky with them because he is still, he's still just a support character. Like, he can't just, like, you know, murder going like I'm freaking murdering spirit here. So, you know, that, that battle could have gone better, but, uh, you know, it's, uh... It was fine, it was fine, let's say. So let's let's not blame the cataphone right here. It's probably just me like playing like super super poorly. But um anyways, final conclusions for the uh the cat toaster right here. So I like it, it's pretty good, it's a good support character. Don't rely so much that it's gonna like just murder every single thing on its path, even though it has the the area attack damage, as well as like, you know, decent attack and or HP stats. Um it's just nice that it has the air attack damage to give off the slow effect to multiple angel units if you're um fighting that in the case. So yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much going to be it for this video then. So if you enjoyed it, then hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Battlecats videos in the future. If you have any suggestions for cats that you want to see, then uh, just let me know in the comment section below. And also, I should probably mention this too, just because, you know, why not? Um, usually, I record these videos in batches. So, like, maybe one day I'll record either two to three Battlecats videos. And then I'll, like, um, upload them in a set schedule. So if you suggest something from, like, say, this video, it might take me, like, a couple of videos in the future to actually get to the getting to those comps to, to actually apply them in the in next videos or future videos so um if you didn't know that now you know then now, now, now you know <laughs> just flustering in the words again anyways guys that's gonna be for this video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time Woo!